Hi, I'm Simon from SAL National and today we're going to talk to you about the SAL Pixie multifunction controller, which is one of those devices that a lot of people don't understand with the SAL Pixie uh, smart home product range. We're going to show you how it works to control devices, create groups and scenes. Let's get to it. So in this video, we're going to talk about the SAL Pixie digital multifunction push button controller, uh, which is this little guy here. Now you can see it's just a, a little mechanism and here's a sort of a standard plate you will see around. Now this just clicks right into the back of that. Standard 30 meg aperture. Uh, plugs straight in when it's got the button on the front. Uh, you'll also notice on the back here, uh, all we connect to it is the active and the neutral. So this device doesn't actually control the load directly. It is in fact a powered Bluetooth uh, transmitter and receiver. So the way that that actually then controls things like, for example, a, uh, an SAL Pixie smart switch or an SAL Pixie uh, LED strip controller or even one of our LED strip kits that you can see here we've also got as part of the demonstration um, is you provide this in active and a neutral um, from, from anywhere. It doesn't have to be from the lighting circuit that you're controlling it from. In fact, probably better that it's not and that it's just from an active and a neutral from the, the, the power circuits in the home. And then within the Pixie and the Pixie Plus app, we actually pair those devices uh, to control either a single device, uh, uh, a group of devices, or to recall a scene or scenes. Of course, it is also possible with all Pixie devices to link one of these multifunction controllers to a single device. Uh, and that's uh, very, very simple and common throughout all of the SAL Pixie products. And that is essentially with the master product, so a Pixie switch or a dimmer or a, uh, any other master product like the uh, LED controller is also a master product. You press the master four times, uh, it will go into programming mode and then you sync the multifunction switch that you want to control that from by pressing it four times as well. So it's a very, very simple manual setup, but there's also more advanced things you can do with inside of each of the apps. And that process is the same across all Pixie products, master and slave, to sync one on one to each other. If you make a mistake during that process, it's a pro tip, uh, whether it's a master or a slave, you can press it nine times and it will reset it. Uh, and then you can resync it to something else, and same with this one. Now, it's also possible, of course, then to have multiples of these in a, in a uh, plate. You can see here we've got a six gang switch plate where each of these multifunction switches is connected simply by an active and a neutral. Now, this isn't powered on, so it's safe, but you can see we've got an active and a neutral simply looping between all those devices. So each of these devices is a powered Bluetooth device. They're not controlling the load directly. They are in fact transmitting a Bluetooth signal to control uh, what device have either been individually synced with or through the app, what group or scene they've been uh, instructed to, to sync with. So here's our setup with our controller at the back here, our LED strip kit and our neon. So all of these uh, devices, the, the LED strip kit is Pixie enabled, the uh, LED smart LED strip controller is SAL Pixie enabled and then we have our six gang plate with our six of our SAL Pixie multifunction controllers in there and you can see here on my app for the SAL Pixie app I have those two devices so I have the the strip is the one at the bottom and then I have the LED strip kit there which is a RGB and I can control them directly from here as a, as a device right now. So here's my groups and I want to create and I've got this group here which is the LED group and I want to sync that group to one of these buttons on my panel. So I go to the, the group itself inside and I click here and I go pairing. And, do, and ask your question if I want to do that, and it gives you a list of devices that you can do that with. So yes, I have one of those devices here. Now it says quickly press the button on the multifunction uh, remote, multifunction controller, multi a switch four times. Okay, so I'm gonna put it onto this one. I pressed it four times. It's connecting and pairing. Pairing successful. 
start using it straight away, it says. So just do a rescan and I'll jump out of there, on and off. What I can do is I can create a scene. So I go in here and I'm just going to create a, a scene, add a scene, and I want to add this guy, these two guys to it. But I want to change the colors that are called. So I'm going to edit this, I'm going to turn that up to full, I'm going to make it red for that guy. And for this guy, I'm going to turn him up to full. Go back, and then I save the scene down the bottom. Of course you need a name, so this is, I'll call it Red Full. Done. Save it. Okay, and then very similar to the group, I click here, I go Pairing. Yes, I want to pair that. Uh, single click and double click for a scene, you have two different ways, so the single click, I want to do red full, okay. I'm not going to put a double click on there because I haven't got it, but the double click could be to turn it off or to cycle to another scene. So I'll confirm and start pairing that, and this time I want to put that on here. Clicked it four times, it's going through its process. Connecting, it's now paired. Let's go back here. I'm gonna go into the groove, I'm gonna turn this thing off just so that we can see the effect. And I'm going to recall that scene. There's that scene. And I'm gonna recall the other one here from here, which is off and then on because that was just turning the group on and off, right? It's not changing the state of any of these, it's just turning that group on and off. Whereas this one actually changed the, the color of it, right? Um, and then of course you can just sync each of the individual devices. So if you go in here, I think it's in there, you go there, you go pairing. Yes, um, I just want to pair uh, this guy to here, click it four times, syncs, yep, pairing successful, fantastic. So we'll give that a test, see what happens. Just turns that on and off, right? And then if I wanted to sync the other item, which is the, the other strip controller, I go in there, I go pair. Yeah, I want to do that. One, two, three, four. And it syncs it. So now what I have is, I'll just move the app out of the way for a minute. Now what I have is the ability to turn both items on and off together. I have the ability to turn individual items on and off. And I have the ability to recall that colored scene. Keep in mind that none of these are driving the power direct. They're simply transmitting the Bluetooth signal uh, to the controller or the LED strip. And of course this works the same for our smart switches and smart dimmers, the smart plug packs, any of the Pixie devices part of the Pixie ecosystem. So just as a final demonstration, then you, you remember we've connected this one to control the LED strip there, and then this one here to connect the, the uh, neon strip. And of course, because both of these devices are dimmable, I can also dim from here just with that standard setup. So I can just press and hold and it will dim down. You can see the colors dimming down. And dim back up. And of course you get the memory function built in as well. So if I dim down and then turn off and then turn back on, it remembers what level it was turned on at and it dims back up. Oop, dim down and then all the way off and up we go again. And the same is also true then for the neon. So I can turn it off and on. I'll just turn that guy off for a minute. I can dim this all the way down. Stop, I can turn it off. Turn it back on at that level. 
and then dim up all the way to full as well and then turn it off and on.